Hi, my name is uh, Rob Dr. Ramita Wizaki Rahman. I'm from uh, Faculty of Computer Science uh, and Information Technology, uh, UPM. Uh, the work that I would like to present is the augmented reality self-regulated sleep classes for medical students. So what is actually a flip classes? The flip classroom model enables students to acquire fundamental knowledge outside of class time, does include reading materials or video lectures, meaning that all the notes, all the, uh, the things that are supposed to be presented in the class, the student will uh, do it before the class. So this will able to free up class time for knowledge applications students' engagement in active learning and higher order thinking. So if um, once the students uh, read all the notes or the content or see the videos, pre-recorded uh, lectures, mm -hmm. then they have time to do all these um, active learning and higher order thinking with their lecturer. The flip classroom model is increasingly being adopted in competency-based medical education. It started to adopt in a medical education. However, right, the potential of flip classrooms for enhancing medical education has not yet been proven. Despite significant increases in the quantity and quality of studies, studying this approach in medical education, and it poses a major challenge to students who have not mastered self-regulated learning strategies. So students have to master self-regulated learning by then, they will um, they can uh, use uh, flip classroom with a very high impact. Thus, they may not be able to understand the information presented in the course materials, or to strategically use learning resource outside of class, which would likely limit the ability to participate in and benefit from in class activities. So, if they did not understand and then they don't have that they don't master the self-regulated learning strategies so they might not um able to participate and benefit any activities in this in the class so again when we mention about self-regulated learning so what is it actually with self-regulated learning so self-regulated learning um refers to the ability to understand and control the learning environment. It's not just like you, okay, I can read, I can understand. No, there is a um, process so that you can master the self-regulated learning. So must set goals, select strategies that help to achieve those goals, implement those strategies and monitor the progress towards their own self-goals. Various self-regulated learning techniques may be advantageous for student performance in various learning environments. For instance, a study of first-year medical students taking an anatomy course discovered a positive correlation between their use of cognitive strategies like elaborations, so like meaning enhancing additive concept or generalizations and critical thinking, such as uh, the questioning in the class, peer teaching, and higher academic performance. So self-regulated learning is a cy cyclical process wherein the students plans for a task, monitors their performance, and then reflects on the outcome. The cycle then repeats as the student uses the reflection to adjust and prepare for their next task. The process is not one size fits all. It should be tailored for individual students and for specific learning tasks. So the students have to tell it by themselves. They know this cycle, so they um, maneuver or design for themselves. So basically for the cycle of self regulated learning, students have to plan, set goals and lay out strategies, use strategies and monitor performance, reflect on performance. So they plan and set the goals, and then use the strategy to monitor the performance and reflect on the performance. Then from these reflections, use results from the previous performance to guide the next one. So they use these reflections, they understand the strategies, they understand the ability, then they use this to guide the next one, the next cycle. So basically, um, 
to understand further of this uh, flipped classroom approach, so we have created a mobile augmented reality. May I remind uh, the audience that my focus is on the flipped classroom. Yeah? So the self-regulated learning is part of the uh, task, part of the um, observations, uh, part of the training to understand further the flipped classroom. So we have created a mobile augmented reality applications for students as study anatomy to help them grasp the idea of the AR flip classroom. Students were instructed to use the same three mobile augmented reality applications with different design and approach. We created three uh, mobile application augmented reality with the different designs. The three types of mobile augmented reality applications are those with markers and notes on the printed notebooks, Vara 1. Those with markers and notes are on website, Vara 2. And those with all notes in the mobile augmented reality applications and the marker are on tangible 3D object. And then we tested all these three to a uh, medical faculty of medical and health sciences in uh, UPM. We asked them to do the testing and we captured the the, the uh, they, ob they observe uh, the way they're using it. Uh, there's a camera. We put a camera to observe their, their, their expressions. Then once they finish, we send them, uh, we give them a questionnaire so that they can answer um, the questionnaire. Once uh, we get managed to get the information, the data, the, the, the reflections or ref the reflect um, uh, from the students, uh, we uh, enhance, amend, and modify the bara one, two, and three, and then uh, we finalize uh, with again with the students. Then we bring this bara one, two, and three to uh, Faculty of Medicals and Health Sciences in UITM Sungai Buloh. With the, the same approach, but a little bit uh, uh, relaxed because uh, we know or we have tested it, everything in uh, faculty in UPM. So it's just to do to understand the behavior uh, towards these apps. So this is the first bara. Uh, all the notes and marker are the printed uh, printed meaning that uh, we use books. Yeah, the notes are on the on the printer and then we uh, the apps is on the mobile and uh, and we scan the marker and pop up like this. And every time they meet, uh, every time we can see from the pages, the notes, the marker that we scan and can see it pop up the 3D marker. Okay. And all this marker and then pop up the 3D so that they can zoom in, zoom out and try to understand the inner part, the outer part, and relate to the notes. Then we have the second bar whereby all the notes are on the website and uh, uh, the, the, the marker, the, the part of the uh, notes are, also, are in the mobile. So the student will, the student will have to scan the marker on the website and pop up the 3D models. Student can rotate, can zoom in. Right? You can see the, the fingers there, uh, the touching there, and then move, rotate the brain, and look into inner part of the brain. Then they relate all these to their notes. So they can do it this before the class. Then we have the third bar where the mobile notes with a 3D object marker. So we 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 buy this uh, eraser from the DIY shop, right? And then um, we uh, scan it and put in our coding to make it as a 3D tangible marker. So the same, uh, we redesign our bar. All the notes are in the apps, but you can see when I move the marker, so you can see more the 3D models. 
inferior parts of the cerebellum. And again, the same thing, student can enlarge, can zoom in, and even can go in the models. So once we do that uh, experiment in both uh, faculties, we found out that most students favor the third mobile augmented reality applications, which is the Bara tree even though in general students enjoy using all the three applications. Meanwhile, yeah, meanwhile, the medical lectures essentially prefer the first mobile mentality application, which is the BARA one. So the BARA three, the 3D tangible and all the notes are in the mobile applications. The reason most of the students give, we ask them why they choose the, uh, uh, which applications, why they choose the third, they said it's easy because the eraser they can just put in their pocket and the apps uh you they bring all all the times uh uh the mobile phone so it's easy for them compared to the others. But the medical lecturers prefer the bara one, which is the printed marker printed note. Again, we ask them why. Oh, because uh the students can uh jot down and uh, write on the Paper, uh, on the printed notes okay um so most probably uh, we are not further on that on that on that finding most probably because of these knowledge gaps gaps or the age gaps because you know the medical lecturers are most probably 35 above up to 45 above but the students are much more younger they they, they are familiar with the mobile phone they prefer easier for them to bring anywhere So the next um, further on, we develop a picture archive communication system, PAC system. Yeah, I think most of you, uh, most of the uh, medical doctors know what is PAC system. Uh, it's a picture archive communications where the system uh, talk or inter interact with the uh, devices, with the modalities in the hospital, medical imaging in the hospital, uh, medical imaging devices in the hospital and send the, send the images to the picture archive communication system. And, we, but for us, we enhance the PAC system, integrate with the mobile augmented reality applications, okay? So uh, this is our PAC system and we put, um, we add some functions so that user or the super super admin can put a marker there. So the doctors can still use the PAC system as usual, as normal, but there is marker. And this marker purposely for the mobile apps. So student can use these apps, this system, right? Like a brain, then they scan it using the mobile phone and then pop up the brain, right? And the fun we also create a function so the student or the users can write on the 3D models. So they can write on the screen of your of the mobile phone and write on the 3D models. So the, the lecturers can explain or the students can use them to further understand. Through the usage of this uh, mobile augmented application, student will have the chance to use the PAC system and comprehend both healthy and unhealthy human anatomy. So they can understand the image from the unhealthy human anatomy with the healthy human anatomy. The usage of the PAC system in the flip classroom strategy may be very appropriate with the right notes and have a favorable effect on medical learning. So this is actually the interface. You can see here, this is the interface of the PAC system, right? You can, all the function available in PAC system is there. Uh, measurement, uh, movement, whatever you have in the normal PAC system, the basic functions we have. And we also add up some uh, function there for the uh, users can upload uh, or can use the marker, right? 
And this is the mobile phone interface. You start and then you begin scanning. Once the mobile phone scan the marker, pop up the 3D models and you can jot down on this uh, brain. Yeah? This is the clean brain. This is the one that you jot down. And the beauty of this pack system, because it's supposed to for, for it's supposed to be for students uh, do their studies, we create a stereoscopic view whereby the student can choose these functions and slip in uh, their mobile phone to the VR box, slash uh, pull up uh, the slide here so that the camera can uh, scan the marker there, and then they can wear this as though they can see the brain is in front of their eyes. So they can explore using the eye gaze, the 3D models. They more further can understand the inner part. Okay, uh, so this is basically the system of, uh, uh, of the uh, system. We, of course, uh, there are uh, re registrations, there are username there to key in. So this is, uh, you can see here, uh, the data uh, inside the pack system. It is a dummy data, yeah? And this is the marker. You can choose which marker you want or you can update your, the marker. And uh, you also, uh, if you, uh, you uh, admin, you also can create your uh, another users to use the pack system. So in one class, you as a lecturer is that uh, have one uh, account and then you can create sub account for your students. So this is how uh, we are uh, users use, right? As a normal standard pack, you can do whatever you can uh, in the pack system. You can measure it. Uh, so sorry, because we not really understand the medical, the, but but we do understand these uh, functions. So uh, can do the measurement. Uh, this, uh, uh, we already tested this pack system in uh, UITM Sungai Bulu, the, the, the Faculty of Medical. Then uh, once you're done with the PEC, once you set up the PEC system, you can use the mobile apps. You can see here, we scan. You can see the brain there. And student will, uh, can, uh, I mean, can understand uh, the images and the 3D models, and they can jot down on that. They even we even have a create a uh, erase button there. So where uh, turn it to stereoscopy, and can you use a VR box? So the next question is: once you do understand the flip, once you know. You need to, uh, the students need to to um, have the self-regulated, uh, master in self-regulation, regulated learning. But, and then you have the pack system with this uh, 3D model, uh, augmented, 3D augmented reality. And uh, the next question is, or but the main question is, is this approach appropriate for the AR flip classroom strategy? Where will the student use the mobile augmented reality apps to do preparations for their class? There is still a lot to learn, especially when it comes to smart quizzes, questions that will seize the flip classroom method, as well as serial testing that requires learning throughout the semester, which is very challenging to ensure that study activities do not interfere with their learning. So my idea is, you have the BARA system there, yeah? And then the student will use the BARA at home or in any, any relaxing 
environment before their class. And then in the class, uh, the lecturer most probably can use the PEC system. They will use the PEC system to uh, and uh, apply the activ class activities and the quizzes and discussions for the students. So students, we give the students the mobile apps for the like, like Bara, uh, most probably Bara 1, Bara 3, because students prefer the Bara 3. And then once they understand the knowledge, everything, then they come to the class, teacher can proceed, lecturer can proceed with this PEC system. Uh, that's the idea. But my next question is, is Bara 3's mobile app sufficient? Because you have to remember, the Bara 3 is for the brain. Yeah? Brain augmented reality applications. The size of the apps will change if content of the app cover the entire human anatomy. So if you if you want to enhance the Bara 3 into the whole entire human anatomy, the size of the apps will change. It's becoming uh, large and it's very difficult to install into the handphone. And what if the professor wishes to include and amend their notes? So what if we as lecturer want to include or amend the notes? So my idea is clicking there. Why not we create a Putra Med Hub, which is interactive augmented reality mobile applications for medical education with web-based file management system. So this is a file management system, like like a, it's a learning management system, like like our Putra Blast, and also have a functions for um uh for stereoscopic view and uh, augmented reality applications. So this is the, the, the system. Uh, the lecturer can upload the notes, upload the 3D, and even can see the 3D from the system. And this is the mobile app, similar to Bara now, but, but I think most uh, in between Bara 1 and Bara 2. All the notes are here. So again, so student can use the printed marker or even the marker in the website uh, to see the 3D. Okay. Again, the question is, I have bara 3, bara 1, bara 2, bara 3. I have pack system with this uh, augmented reality application for the learning. And I have this uh, Putra Made Hub, yeah? which the, the, the lecturers can update and upload their 3D models and their notes. So my next question is, but do we really need both the Putra Med Hub and the PEC system as the integration web-based system? We have two now. You major students have to uh, install the apps, have to take care to web-based system. How can this system be created to meet the need and requirements of the flip classroom? So how are we going to design the system so that we can meet the requirements of the flip classroom? I might enhance the PEC system so that the PEC system can also be uh, can also accept or can can have a storage for the notes and everything inside and the lecturers can change their note in the PEC system right uh, I'm yeah I don't think I can enhance more put them in up towards the PEC system the best way is a PEC system uh, we maneuver it like a put them in up so thank you very much indeed uh, for our, our upcoming research and development efforts. Feel free to make suggestions and ask questions. Thank you so much. Keep in touch.